All right, welcome back, welcome back. Let's talk about uh, Solomon Booty and Mr. Cora OBD Dustin Dean. Let's talk about these people. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, so you know, we've covered, if you want to go and watch Cora OBD's uh, story that we've been covering for the past few days or weeks, you can go and watch it. But uh, apparently, um, this guy is still going hard. There's just one very simple point I want to point out on this, on this very one here, on this quick story. Why did you marry a woman who twerks 24-7? <laughs> What's wrong with marry a woman who twerks 24-7? Let me ask ladies this question. But I been uh, Pim for now, okay? Ladies, answer that question for, for Solomon Bucci. What's wrong with marrying a woman who twerks 24-7? Not be juju be that. He said, not again. What's wrong? Answer this question for me. Oh, I beg, I beg. Answer this question for me. What's, is there anything wrong? Yes or no? Is there anything wrong with marrying a woman who twerks 24-7? <laughs> Please, tired. Please, please. I'm tired. You're tired? No, right? If I see opportunity to extract lessons, I will cover it, unfortunately. Or fortunately, right? Well, is there anything wrong with marrying a woman? Just tell me your own truth, oh. Tell me your own truth. Okay? Sorry, bro. I'm not a fan of these two at all. Oh, really? I'm a fan of uh, both of them. <laughs> right? I'm a fan. <laughs> What's wrong? Everybody says she don't get work. What is wrong with marrying a woman who twerks 24-7? Life coach said, why did you, life coach Solomon Bucci, interrogate American co-chiropractor Justin Dean over his latest rant? We're going to talk about the rant real quick. What is wrong? Is this, is she not, cannot submit to your program as a traditional man? What is wrong is that she cannot submit to your program as a traditional man. Is Justin Dean a traditional man? We will first of all say he's a traditional man, eh? Is, is Justin Dean a traditional man? A.G. Ohiho says it takes a village to raise a child. Speaking in codes. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to decode what you said. What's wrong with marrying a woman who twerks 24-7? Right? I'm trying to imagine my wife twerking 24-7 on the internet. Just breaking it, breaking it 24-7. You guys go like, ah, that's my wife, that's his wife. She's twerking again. <laughs> well, wow, 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 wow. But I bet, thank you for being a good sport. It's like, I'm holding on for the ladies to say this. The, Mario said there's a problem, but there's a lead for every pot. Hmm? Wait, there's there isn't a problem, but there is. Hmm? 24 7 okay. Hey, so this is for uh we said uh earlier that they say uh, men are not emotional. This is emotional talk. This is an example of an emotional talk. This is Ebony. Ebony said that. This is an example of an emotional talk. Clearly, she's not dancing 24-7. But when you exaggerate, that's usually coming from a place of emotion. So these are men talking now. So congratulations. You see men emotionalizing the conversation. So it is what it is. Why did you marry a woman who talk 24-7? Solomon says, oh, that's the part of her brand, I guess. Just realized you were talking about Cora. Oh, I was talking about Cora. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Cora. Right? What's wrong with a woman who is twerking 24-7? Right? Factor in that the people that are asking that question are coming from an emotional black male standpoint. He is not traditional. It just doesn't work out for them. I hope they find other people. Mm. You think uh, Cora is going to find somebody that will be okay? Some men are probably sliding in that DM already. In this respect, men have no shame. They will slide in that DM. Okay. After they, in fact, the man of men will slide in that DM after they drag her publicly. <laughs> have you not seen that before? Go and ask water. <laughs> water from Fresh and Fit. Allah will not kill me. Naru Ajo Hio. 
Abby. Abby. Since AG or you will not tell me. It got, she's a gone with the wins. She's definitely a woman. That's a woman that will say that. Gone with the wins, Bow. <laughs> the trucker was bringing in money. That's a good point. That's why he married her. The money helped him pay back his student loan and live a certain lifestyle. I didn't know that part. That would make a man. Now, that would make a man settle and say, hey, she twerks, that brings in money. Why not? Right? But let's get into it real quick. I kind of stretched that out a little bit. So Solomon Bush says, why did you marry a woman with twerks 24-7? Sometimes you men marry just to explore and be adventurous. You don't consider that your wife will also be the mother of your kids. Now your eyes have cleared. God help you. So, Doctor, this was a response to Dr. Justin Dean, uh, the chiropractor, DC. My four-year-old is twerking at me and thinks it's cute. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy, he never expected He never expected it. <laughs> he shocked him. <laughs> he shocked you. I'm done. I don't know why this is this funny to me, but why is he shocked? <laughs> I guess the shock shock Solomon Buji like, why did you marry a woman that talked 24 7? He shocked him. Let's see here. You want to marry a Bati, but you don't want a Bati daughter. My brother, Bati begets Bati. <laughs> Baki begets Bati. Bati begets Bati. When choosing a wife, remember that you're also choosing the mother of your children. And if you can't handle the reality of having daughters like your wife, she's the wrong one. Body can only beget body. I'm done. You see why I have to cover the story now? <laughs> you see why I have to cover the story? Hmm? Now, here's the issue uh, with uh, Solomon Bucci's, uh Why did you marry a woman with twerks 24-7? Honestly, uh, it's too late to be asking that question. He had his reasons for marrying, for marrying her. He had his reasons, you know. I guess, uh, but the advice is not... Um, the advice is not going to be don't marry a twerker. <laughs> That's not going to be the advice. The advice it cannot be that. It cannot be that simple. I'm not. I'm not sure what the advice is at this point. You know, and I don't think that's why. I don't think it's suggesting that is their marriage ended because of twerking. No, that the advice is suggesting that their marriage ended because of twerking. Okay. If you woke up one day and she started twerking and then you said, I'm out, then you can claim that. Okay? Like she had never twerked ever online before. She just woke up one day. She said, I'm chasing after my dreams. I always wanted to be a dancer like Jenna Jackson. Right? And then she started twerking. And then you say, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Now you can claim that the twerking ended the marriage. This situation is none of that. The twerking just happens to be one of the easiest things to point at. Like I always tell you, if you look around you, it might not be twerking. You will find something you can blame. That you can hold accountable outside of self. You will always find something. You know? So, and again, you are preaching to the choir. You don't think Justin Dean already knows this? He knows this already. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm... Same reason Pastor Devon Franklin married Megan Good. The money. Hmm. And why Kanye married Kim? The money. Oh, you're saying that's the same reason. The same reason why they married. People, people, listen. Mr. Cora already like to use Cora to bring tra traction to her page. I don't even believe that rubbish he said about June. You don't think June twerks? All those kids are twerking, even if their mother don't twerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think Solomon is actually out of touch. All this, all this, all these children are talking. Okay, if you see them at their parties, you if you go to children party, you see what I'm talking about. Okay, 
You literally have to like. Why are those kids dancing like that? Everybody gonna pretend you don't see that kid dancing like that? <laughs> yeah, they literally do. They can see it. <laughs> okay. So, um, as far as uh, Cora, Cora, Mr. Cora OBD is concerned, <sighs> you doing what? Yeah. Uh, the surprise is sure come. <laughs> it's sure come. Let's just tell it to him. Stop the cap. <laughs> And then also, as far as uh, the advisor, uh, the influencer, Solomon Bucci is concerned, uh, he's never seen anything. <laughs> you never see anything, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, he's out of touch with that. He's out of touch. That that has nothing. Oh, but you're going to marry a tracker like that? Bro, they were married. Okay, they had two kids together. And it didn't work out like many marriages that were holier than thou and didn't work out. Did you not see my family you just complaining just now? It's happening in church too. The issue is not the twerking because he knew what he was marrying before. If she suddenly woke up and she start and she started twerking out of nowhere, then you can claim that, okay? Until further notice, you better gather sense. Please. Let's gather sense so so for Solomon Bucci too. Sorry. Uh stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> stop the absolute cap uh let's see here <laughs> deliverance for what same reason what deliverance for what solomon needs to go and sit down he used to push what justin was pushing about cora like justin met him behind the scenes to push those narratives yeah so now he's suddenly mad at justin yeah he never seen anything yet you know Aubrey is going to show all of us, every single one of us, until you got our brain. Okay? Oh, beauty. They're going to show you Shege first. If you don't see that Shege first, you never know. You would think everything is about rules, and it's not. It's about your leadership skills, your ability to influence what you're looking for. Ola, June can't dance to save her life. I've seen her dance before, talk less of twerking. So maybe he saw it in, like, maybe he just, like, that's a look, a look like that, and then. The guy just lost his mind, like, whoa! I can see your mother in you, don't you dare. Let me go on the internet. Imagine seeing your child is looking for, there's a lot, there's enough women sympathizing with him, by the way. And you know the result of that, right? <laughs> he will collect. <laughs> Listen, so Abuchi needs to tell us how his marriage is going first. It's fresh. His marriage is fresh, right? He's an imported man. He already hit the jackpot. Oh, you talk about uh, Solomon Bucci? Imported man. Ha! Whatever, you see our life? <laughs> hmm, imported man. <laughs> I have a different theory regarding why they divorced, but Chinye won't let me. What's the theory now? <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Ben, hear me. <laughs> Bucci don't know shit. Bucci, Bucci will be alright. He will learn. He's gonna learn the hard way. Him and Very Dark Man, they're going to learn the hard way. Okay. Anyway, I know we had a long one today, but if you like everything we've been doing thus far, you're really, really, really gonna like this last segment. All right. So do me a favor, hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notification. I'll be right back. Love that I've been missing, I miss all your hugs, you're touching and kissing me, love on the floor, the coach in the kitchen, one love enough, we done enough.